So now what we need to do is that we need to deliver HTML to the user. As you can see here, I just sent a very simple message to the user. And rather than sending um, a text message, I'm going to send a HTML well-designed pages. So how can I do that? To do that, we need to render an HTML page rather than sending a message like this. But before I do that, we need to tell our uh, we need to tell Express, hey ex Express, now we want to use HTML in our application. And to do that, we need here to say we need to say app and then dot use. And then what we want to use is that we want to use the Express. I'm going to say Express express dot express dot static 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 and then public static and then public public so what is this this is going to tell express to use the public folder to deliver this public folder to to for the for to use the the static uh, to use the, the CSS and the JavaScript and the image in our application. So this is very important. This is a very important step. The second thing that we want to use or want to do is that we need to say here app and then that's set and then we need to pass two parameters. The first parameter is that we need to say view view engine engine view engine. The second parameter is the EJS. This is basically going to tell Express to set the view engine to EJS. So it's going to tell uh, Express to use the EJ, EJS, e, EJS as, the, as, our, uh, as our view engine. So these two things are very important. Now what we need to do is that we need to create the HTML file. So remember here in the views pages, I have created a folder called pages. And I told you that here in this pages, we need, we can create any HTML file we want. So here, let's create our first HTML file. So here, I'm going to right click on this pages, and then I'm going to create a new file, and then I'm going to name it index. But instead of naming it, instead of giving it a um, extension of HTML, we need to give it an extension of E j s because the e j s is now being used as the view engine and then hit enter and now we have our first html file and don't freak out if you if you don't know what this uh, a j s is this a j s is just going to just make things easier in terms of sending data to the html and here in this index that e j s EJS, we can use HTML. Don't worry about that. We can here, we still can use HTML and uh, CSS normally. There is no problem at all. Let me show you that. Here, I can here say H1, and then I can say hello world. As you can see, I can use HTML here. Now, in the index that it's that JS, I'm going to return this, this, uh, this HTML to the user. So what I'm going to do here is that in the index, instead of sending, instead of saying response that send, I'm going to say response dot render, response dot render, and then I'm going to specify the page, the HTML page that I want to return. So here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say pages, and then forward slash, and then index, because I want to return, I want to return the index this index. I want to return the index that's inside the pages. So we need to say pages and then forward slash index. And we shouldn't say views. Views is already known by node. So node knows, already knows that the views is used for the, for the, uh, for HTML. So don't worry about that. All you need to do is that you need to specify any subfolder inside the, the views. And then the name of the file that you want to return without the extension. So don't say EJS. Never do that. It's not going to work. You need to say pages and then forward slash and then the name of the file without the extension. 